very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so following up with our last week analysis video on last Saturday uh, we can see that the euro USD has immediately fallen down before reaching our sell area and it just kept falling down all the way until it hit this previous support right here so not to mention that this is four hours chart now let's move to the daily candles and what we can see here is we are right now on a support zone on the euro usd and we can see that the pair has reversed from this uh, support zone here we can see that the pair has last night created uh, a pin bar on the same area indicating that the pair most likely is going right now for the bullish now I don't want to say that it is safe to start buying the euro USD because we just need another more confirmation on the four hour candles so let's go back to the four hour candles <clears throat> right now I would suggest to start buying the euro USD again if you see the candles reverse from the support level on one let me just write it for you buy the euro USD again on the level 1.10095 this is i think gonna happen in very short time uh, we just want to be sure to not exceed this uh, support zone here so if we entered our buy order here our stop loss can be like let's say like 30 pips most likely uh, the pair we don't want it to be exceeding this support level and breaking out from it uh, our yeah our stop loss can be uh, numbered like 30 31 pips and that is just to be safe most likely the euro usd is good for the buy this uh, in the remaining days in this week and i believe by next week we are going to see the reversal on the same entry i mentioned last week video uh, which is right here exactly because in my expectation it's gonna take some time for the pair to reverse and reach this uh, this previous resistance level this will be the best level to start shorting the euro usd not to mention that it was also a strong support and also a good resistance level so euro usd seems like it's uh, reversing right now and we just need to wait for the right moment you can buy the euro usd as i said on this level uh, please just uh, be sure that you are seeing any price action indicating a reversal and you can uh, keep your position until it hit this previous resistance right here let's take a look at the pound usd now the pound usd my signal for the last week was perfect and the pair has reversed exactly on the level i mentioned if you can if you want you can check the last uh, weekly analysis video i mentioned that the pound usd is going to reverse exactly on the level 1.31018 and that is ex exactly what happened and i'm so glad because the pair has fallen down for almost 124 pips and right now it's on uh, 82 pips for those who have entered the signal so now what's next let's see what's next now for the pound usd now what we can see here is we're having here a trend line and seems like the pound usd is reversing from this level i was expecting to be honest for a breakout from this level here of this uh, support trend line however so far it's not reversing so let's just be sure and uh, be safe about our signal which signal is it gonna be for the pound usd right now i hope you can understand me that this is really critical place to give any signal because we are not sure yet if the pair is going to break out from this support trend line or if it's gonna reverse because we are right now right on it right now therefore uh, let me just uh, summarize it if you see any breakout candle breaking out from the very same support trend line that I have drawn here if you see like a breakout candle like that you can start shorting the pound immediately and keep your tra uh, trade running until it hit this previous support level right here just following the last week analysis video if you see a reversal right here and you see the pair continue to go more up for example right now we are on the four hour chart and you can see that there will be here a green candle it will hit this resistance level and then it's gonna fall down hit this previous support level and from that point it's gonna be safe to buy again the pound usd let me just correct it it's not it's not here let me just correct it again just to be sure it is exactly 
like let me just be sure my friends uh, let me get rid of the other lines so I will not get confused let's just look at the left yes okay good and it's not the best level let me just pick another level to start buying the pound USD and I believe this is much better yes definitely oh definitely yes so that is the level where you want to start buying the pound USD so again as I said if you see a bearish breakout candle start selling the pound USD if you see the K the pair continue to go more up wait for it to reverse on this resistance like that hitting this previous support and from that point here we can start buying the pound USD and keep your trade running until it hit this previous resistance right here so that can get us about 58 pips of profit as I said the general direction for the pound is to fall down but however we are just following how the market is going we cannot force it to go in our way right so right now it's reversing so I cannot really tell you to just uh, wait for the pair to hit this resistance again and start shorting that's I mean that's gonna waste your time and waste your money therefore we just need to advise you to wait for the price action to confirm it and I believe I should make a video about price action so it will be clear to everyone what I say when I when I'm saying price action anyway uh, that's my analysis for the pound USD and just to summarize it I mean this is the fourth time uh, just if you see a breakout candle from this level bearish breakout candle from this level you can start short the pound USD immediately keep it running until hitting this previous support and if you see the pair breaking out from this previous resistance wait for it to reverse on this resistance making the pullback and from that point you can start buying the pound USD and uh, not for a long time of course because you can exit your trade right on this resistance because I believe once it hit this resistance again it's gonna complete the head and shoulders pattern and then it's gonna be good for the short let's take a look at the AUD USD so the AUD USD has kept falling until it hit this uh, take profit level sadly it didn't reach the entry point at all I mean the entry point was somewhere here uh, it was 0.68346 which is this one here uh, but on Monday opening the pair immediately started falling down and I believe that was because of the fires in Australia which has been I think reduced if I'm not mistaken because of the rains we can see right now the pair is reversing on the support level so right now the AUD USD is reversing on the support of uh, support number one and right now we can see that we have here a support number two meaning the pair now is making the pullback I believe it's gonna continue its bearish momentum however right now we are facing the pullback so it's a matter of where should we start shorting the AUD USD again and that can be done by finding the best sub, uh, resistance level which is definitely right here we have in here this strong support level which was a key support and we're having here these uh, strong resistance areas indicating that this and by the way it's also here so indicating this level here is really good for start shorting the AUD USD again so let's make it short we can start sell the AUD USD again on the level 0 0.68000 and hopefully the pair is gonna reach this level this day and we are gonna make some good profit and if you did sell the AUD USD and on this level you can keep your trade running until it hit again this previous support where it's reversing right now and we can aim for almost 57 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all now let's go to the USDGPY so the USDGPY what's happening for the USDGPY of course we all know about uh, the corona disease which is uh, spreading now in Asia and I believe that is infecting uh, that is <laughs> infecting <laughs> that is affecting the USDGPY so what is the next move now for this pair well we can see that the pair started finally reversing after a long time of con consolidation here the market was ranging it was ugly 
ugly ranging here I really hope no one was stuck on this uh, buy or sell because you really don't want to stuck in such market like that so uh, let's go to the daily candles and we can see that the pair has actually reversed on this previous strong support level almost right here we can see that here we are having a strong support candles uh, by the way we are on the da uh, daily candles we're having here a, su a strong support which was also a resistance in the past not to mention right here and right here the resistance level and here and right here now what's happening to the uh, usdgpy now i really don't think the usdgpy is gonna be going up at all at this point here now the signal has changed my friends because we need to look at the reality the reality that the usdgpy seems like it's falling down therefore i believe the usdgpy has entered already a really good sell area because we can see that here we're having the strong key resistance and which was of course a key support in the past and it was here also a strong resistance meaning this is the level where i want to start shorting the usdgpy and it's almost there therefore uh, any buy order uh, is changed because as you know the last week analysis signal was to start buying the usdgpy when it was here on this previous support now this gap here this fall of the gap now that is actually changing the whole game because right now the 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 price has broken the support level and we can see the strong bearish momentum i mean what we are seeing right here is just a pullback and seems like this resistance right here and right here uh, as they are going to be respected and the pair is going to continue falling more down what we are seeing here is nothing but a pullback in my opinion therefore i would advise you to start shorting the usdgpy if you can right away just sell not sell sell on 109.292 and you can just wait again for like it's not really worth it i mean it's 11 pips only you can just wait for it to reach this enter this uh, perfect sell area and we can start shorting the usd gpy let me just be sure my friends now after going to the four hour chart i just want to be sure i'm giving you the valid signal for yeah this is this is definitely right it's definitely the best signal to start uh, the best level to start shorting the usd gpy and if you have entered this uh, sell order uh, let me just change this one here and that's here okay now after entering this area here uh, this uh, sell order right here we can keep the thread running until it hit this um, support right here just be safe to the maximum like that so we can aim approximately 100 pips uh, this is of course on daily candles and definitely i think the pair is going to continue falling more down all the way until hitting this previous support let's check now the usd canadian the usd cad has reversed exactly if i'm not mistaken oh no no that is another pair sorry uh, i was expecting for the usd canadian to go up here to reverse actually hit this previous support and then continue going more up however it just continued its bullish momentum so what's going to happen now to the usd cad now we can see the reversal has happened already right on this resistance level we are having here a resistance number one and the pair is now creating a resistance number two now uh, from my point of view the usd cad is going to continue its bearish momentum until hitting this previous support is creating the pullback and then it's going to continue going more up until hitting this resistance level uh, of course right now we are on the daily candles and we can see that the pair is right now on a strong support zone and i don't really think that the pair is going to exceed this level most likely it's going to continue its bullish momentum so this is my uh, signal for the usd cad uh, let me just be sure just be sure about it so usd cad is actually reversing right now uh, on this very uh, resistance level so if you have the time uh, you can start shorting usd cad just like a scalping signal sell the usd cad on this resistance and keep the thread running until it hit this previous support level and from that point you can start buying again so you have two signals for the usd cad one is for the buy and the other one is for the sell 
uh, just please be careful my friends I don't want to be uh, responsible for that because this is only technical analysis video and the pair might reverse for any reason whatever if there will be any political uh, news or events happening in the world it can change this whole signals in this video please be careful uh, I'm just giving you from technical view what should happen uh, this resistance here after this bearish breakout candle should be respected and the pair should be falling down reversing right on the support level completing the pullback pattern and then the pair is gonna continue going more up until hitting this resistance i hope this is what will gonna happen and i will leave it uh, to you my friends if you want to to start shorting the usd cad right on this level and exit your trade with almost 40 pips of uh, of profit or not that is up to you let's check now the usd chf the USDCHF thankfully has reversed exactly on the level mentioned in the last weekly analysis video. We can see that the buy order here was on, on the level 0 0.69918 uh, and the pair has reversed exactly on this level. It's going right now deep in the profits for those who have joined the signal and it's giving 51 pips of profit. And I believe that the pair was going to continue going more up for, um, for 18 pips more hitting this previous resistance level and then it's gonna reverse now what's gonna happen if the pair will hit this previous resistance let's check the daily candles now from my point of view uh, it's gonna break out from this resistance level and it's gonna continue its bullish momentum all the way until hitting this resistance right here now of course that is not really safe and therefore I would advise you guys um, Actually, it's not really that simple to give the signal for the USD CHF because it's about to reach this level and it's reversing from a very strong support zone actually. Look at that. We're having a really strong support zone and the pair is reversing from out of it. So we are not yet sure if the pair is going to break out from this res resistance or not. Uh, from what I'm seeing, it is going to break out of it. Because of the price action, we are seeing a strong rejection on the support level. So I don't see any reason for it to reverse actually. If it's going to reverse, it will be ranging. Most likely it's going to be ranging before it finally break out from this resistance. Therefore, my advice for you for, those, for this week, for those who have joined the signal for the USDCHF, is to keep your signal running, uh, you, you keep your trade running until it hit the take profit level. Or if you want, you can exit right now with a decent profit uh, I will wait for the next week until I see what will gonna happen on this resistance before I give the signal for the USD CHF let's now check our favorite pair which is the gold uh, the gold has made a, a strong opening right here it's it was right on this resistance level and it made the opening on Monday morning like uh, the, the opening on Monday morning on the top of this previous resistance right here right we can see it right now it's reversing finally and it's going toward our entry point so let's go to the daily candles and I still stick to my uh, opinion that the, the gold is gonna reverse on the support level which was a strong support level right here and here it was also a very strong resistance not to mention if I'm not mistaken about the trend lines if I can just drag this trend line here I think it is definitely this is what will gonna happen that's actually correct the USD go that sorry the gold is gonna continue falling more down until hitting this resistance as uh, support and from that point we can place our buy order on the very same level here which I mentioned last week analysis video and you can keep the trade running all the way until it, it hit this resistance level again now it's highly not advisable to to short the gold until it hit this resistance uh, this support level don't do that because the gold is moving based on a lot of events happening in the world um, um, I don't know how to say it in English to be honest uh, it's about the coronavirus about the oil prices are dropping and the gold is affected of course by that anyway I just want to mention that don't short the gold and just wait for the right moment to start buying the gold on this support level keep your trade running until it hit this previous resistance and let's hopefully we're gonna get uh, no less than 235 pairs profit out of this trade so 
that was everything for this week and i really hope uh, the remaining week is gonna be good and profitable for everyone and in the end i would like to thank you for watching